how cute is this little jar? I cannot wait to paint it. I think this is what I'm gonna make for Christmas gifts this year, y'all. When I saw this mold, I knew I had to have it. Let me show you exactly how I made it. The first thing I did was measure out five ounces of Ultra Cal 30. Next, measure out one and a half ounces of water. Next, I'm gonna pour the water directly into the Ultra Cal and let it sit long enough for plenty of bubbles to disappear. I have a dedicated spatula that I'm gonna use to stir this up and make sure there's no clumps or lumps. You're perfectly welcome to use a gloved hand to make sure it's done right. Now I'm gonna tap, tap, tap this container and hope to let out some bubbles. And then I'm gonna pour it into the mold. When I'm finished pouring it into the mold, I'm gonna take this container and spatula outside to the water hose and rinse it all out. And then I'm gonna store it away with my Ultra Cal and rock making supplies. Now I'm gonna use a cotton swab, yep, a cotton swab, to get all the bubbles out of the mold. I like to bend that cotton swab so I can get around the lip of this jar lid and it really does release the bubbles. See them all coming out? I'm gonna do the same thing in the container and really get down there in the edges. The bubbles really do seem to stick right in that edge and this gets them out. I'm spilling a little bit, but that's just fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tap, tap, tap all around those edges, just like we do with our rocks and really hope that I've gotten all the bubbles out. I'm gonna set my timer for 45 minutes and come back. I can feel that this mixture is still warm, but I'm able to really smush around that loose content on top to fill any holes up at least make them look a little better. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. I'm not even being careful. Yeah, I haven't broken one yet. <laughs> Here we go. I'm just moving my fingers around to fill any holes that I might see. And honestly, there weren't too many. So this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lid from the mold and do the same thing. To find out how many days this needed to dry, I waited each day to see when the water would quit evaporating out of it. It turned out to be three to four days, so I let it dry five. I mean, you can never be too careful. What started out weighing about six ounces now weighs about 5.4. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this rock. I got out a scratch piece of paper and I am gonna paint the inside gold and the outside black. Check it out. Don't forget that any of the supplies I use, I gladly list them down in the description. I also put quite a few over on my website on the art desk. Just go down in the description and you will totally find your way around to everything you need for this project. I ended up using three coats of the champagne gold to color the inside of this jar. Now I'm gonna let that dry and paint the rest of it black. It's gonna take two coats and I'm gonna be super careful not to get the black paint on the gold. I used one of my dotting tools to kind of hold this thing firmly while I painted around the outside and that seemed to help so much. Now that I've gotten all of the base coats on here, I'm gonna let this sit overnight. That way, if I make any mistakes on the mandala tomorrow, I know that I can wipe them off without taking the base coat with it. All right, this looks great. It's dried overnight and I am totally ready to paint the top. My daughter and I had a debate on purple or blue. I decided to do both. All right, let a regular mandala tutorial begin here. Even though it's a little bit bigger than the lid of this jar, I'm gonna use Happy Dotting Company's three inch dome stencil to get my guidelines on this stone. I find that it just really hugs this lid and makes finding the center so much easier than trying to eyeball it or use my center finder or anything like that. So this is how I'm gonna do it. You do it however you find easy. 
All right, we can chat later. For now, let's start dotting.
all right you guys I couldn't be more thrilled with this this is so cute I can't wait to show you all the different things I'm gonna put in it to gift but be careful when you're resining see how it pulled on me maybe use a little less on the inside that was my bad anyway I'm gonna leave everything I use the mold everything on my website y'all go check out my art desk it's taken me a long time to put all this on there for you also don't forget channel membership is still available there are loads of perks give it a try this week i want to give a shout out to puff and stuff i just love saying that name it is so much fun thank you so much for supporting my channel this little jar is going to be so great for so many things it actually fits a little tea light candle how cool is that it will also fit jewelry and even one of my homemade mandala necklaces. Oh, Christmas is gonna be so good this year. I'm gonna put a link right here on how I made a mandala necklace like this so that you can stuff your jars full of goodies for the people you love most and have an extravagant gift at minimal cost. Until next time, rock on.